SeekMan Pro provides information about the coverage in your assembly, both in the coverage report and in the strategy view. To export a visualization of the coverage in your contig or group of contigs, the first step is to open the strategy view. Then you can choose File, Export as GenVision Project. Then I'll name the project and save it. The next step is to launch GenVision, and you can do that conveniently from Navigator just by clicking on the GenVision icon. Once GenVision is open, we'll go to File, Open, and then select the project file that we just exported. And here in the GenVision window, we can see that a panel was created for each piece of information in the strategy view, including the actual depth of coverage across the contig, the coverage threshold, as well as the pair consistency graphs and the scale and contig names. And if I click on this Run button, that will show me the visualization of this data as a PDF by default. Now I have this one set up so that my labels appear at the bottom of the graph, so I'll scroll down here, and you can see the labels for each of the panels in my project. For the coverage graph, shown here, the default coloring matches the coloring that is used in SeekMan Pro. So areas that exceed the coverage threshold are shown in red, and these blue areas indicate where a region was sequenced on one strand only. Now I can edit this image in many different ways. For example, if I want to hide the pair consistency graphs and only want to show the information about coverage, I can do that by returning to the GenVision window selecting each of the pair consistency panels by control clicking on them and then clicking on the hide show button. And you can see here that my PDF was automatically updated and the pair consistency graphs are no longer being displayed. If you have further questions about visualizing coverage from an assembly in GenVision or any other questions about our software, please visit our website at dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.